Track 1. Breaking Chains. Written and produced by Geronimo Lopez Soldevilla. Today I present to you in the area of the course I am a millionaire, millionaire, the module entitled, Breaking Chains to be Born Again, therefore, I welcome you hoping you like the content, which is designed to help you. Let's begin. Listen to the music in the background, hear how at the same time the words that lodge in your ears are decoded by your brain, being aware of the complex visualization process going on in your mind. Notice the wonder of the communication process, and how a series of sounds emanating from the words are converted in your brain into images, images that are yours alone, that only you are able to visualize in the particular way that only you do, which means that these perceived images are your property, and therefore, you are the constructor who builds your own universe in your image and likeness. Feel at the same time, how your body breathes independently and how your heart beats harmoniously and automatically, it is your subconscious working, it is about feeling alive and as a living being you realize that you are able to move for yourself and not for someone else, therefore, every movement you make is generated in you, and where there is movement there is always change, which means that all change is also generated in you. Realize that you are alive, and that you are also a wonderful rational being aware of it, which works perfectly, and because of this, you are in a position to use at will the greatest wonder, the greatest jewel of the universe known, which is your brain. Think for a moment how many millions of years of evolution and changes had to be made so that now, at this moment, you as a living being can enjoy your brain being aware through thought that it is so. You are a wonder of nature and you are also unique and unrepeatable, because only you can be you, as you are, and there has never been and there will never be anyone like you, so take advantage of the unique opportunity that the universe gives you to really be yourself. Try to be yourself from you, from your inner self, from your deepest intimacy where only you are, do it in a movement that arises from the inside out, and not from the ideas, concepts, fashions or socially accepted forms that you receive from the outside in an opposite movement from the outside in, Remember that you are being yourself for you, that is, give yourself to yourself and enjoy it. Also think that only when you are yourself, is when you will be able to understand yourself, to know what you really want, and thus, taking as a point of origin your innermost being is how you will be able to make the best decisions, that is, those decisions that best suit you. If you are watching this video and you have come this far, it is because you have already made the decision to be a millionaire, to be the best person you can be, therefore, it is in this state of consciousness of wanting to generate the change you want, that I pose the first cognitive conflict that I challenge you to overcome. I explain that a cognitive conflict occurs when a subject obtains information or experiences that do not agree with their ideas and preconceptions, and therefore cannot simply integrate them into their cognitive schemas. In other words, when you receive new knowledge, you put it in conflict with everything previously integrated, with the pillars and foundations that support your knowledge, being that, in this conflict, if the new knowledge is powerful, coherent and strong enough, then it will overlap the previous concepts that acted as supporting pillars to replace them, and from this, be able to continue building knowledge. Ask yourself, what has prevented you from being the successful millionaire person you have always wanted? I could be very direct and tell you that the only one to blame for not having been so, has always been you. And after telling you so abruptly as I have done, I am sure that your mind has accepted it as such at first, making you even feel guilty through an acceptance on the part of your mind, perhaps assumed, with more or less reluctance, perhaps with more or less resistance. And I clarify, if you have thought so, it is because in this assertion you have not been given the possibility of understanding why, you have only been offered a situation that in a logical sense has logic, and it has it because at the speed at which your brain works, you have related this sentence with a whole neuronal universe of interconnections that has made it possible. 
Break with the guilt that emerges from your ideas created only by you, because you understand that you are free to be what you want to be, because if you think so, you are. But at this point I ask you, is all this interconnected neural network really yours? Reflect for a moment. As for the physical part, let me explain, the nervous system of vertebrates is composed of long propagations of neurons that connect with each other. These propagations are called axons, they arise from the soma, the body of the neuron, therefore, that complex network is yours. But also, keep in mind that in this neuronal network also reside the concepts, the foundations of your knowledge, which are anchored and related to form your vision, your perception of the world, your ideas, your thoughts, and this, although it is yours, it is also not yours, because you have been the one who has built it in the way you have been taught to do it, and you have been taught, in many ways, through the creation of epistemological obstacles. Let us see what these epistemological obstacles are. According to Gaston Bachelard, French philosopher, 1884 to 1962, an obstacle is an attachment that impedes the advancement of science. In other words, the development of knowledge, errors, prejudices, opinions of teachers, friends, your own family, your social circle, are transmitted to the receiver and these errors, prejudices, opinions, end up becoming your own epistemological obstacles, which in many cases you also transmit to others, as your own. Thus, epistemological obstacle, therefore, is everything that, in the human spirit or reason, prevents the rational construction of the object, opinions, prejudices, mere sensible perceptions of the object, judging by appearances, or the immediate and non-reflective. How many times does it happen that a teacher receives a new group of new students, the teachers of the previous year comment to the new teacher, be careful with that young man, he is this and that, and behaves in a negative way, and with this the student is marked, corseted in terms of epistemological barrier for those who, by their profession, should tend to make their students break them and free themselves from them through knowledge, the use of reason and intelligence. In this sense, it is important to point out that common educational needs are those shared by all people. This type of needs are composed of essential learning for personal development and socialization. And these needs, I ask. Who determines them, according to what criteria? Or, who is interested in a certain historical moment that these predetermined needs are those and not others? How many times have we heard in the news or read in the newspapers that the educational system does not respond to the needs of the market? Many companies have been demanding new professional profiles for years in order to compete in an increasingly dynamic and competitive market. And derived from all this, it is also logical that we should ask ourselves, if I, therefore, think in the key of power, because it was the power who educated me. The fact of contemplating, of reflecting on oneself, on the reality of the things that coexist in that existence, and from that movement arisen in the mind to arrive at the question why, is what gave rise to the birth of philosophy, love of wisdom, in such a way that the conclusions of these reflections, as they are inserted in universes of interrelated complexities, have tended to be concretized and concerted in a set of conceptions about the principles and causes of the human being, as well as the vision that he should have of what the world is and of the way of understanding the reality that surrounds him, the universe or of himself. No society has escaped this eagerness to explore through reason, that is to say, no society has failed to produce, in terms of building, its own philosophical systems and thoughts. Thus, the way of transmitting this knowledge, meaning constructs, through written texts, through oral, iconographic, symbolic transmission, is in a certain way the way of reproducing forms. Therefore, if what you want is a change in you, and for that change to happen, it has to start from you, the first thing you have to do is to recognize yourself as the person you want to become from now on, breaking all the barriers or chains that prevent you from doing so. 
In short, it is about being able to break definitively with the poor thinking that you have been taught, and of which I tell you, that has not allowed you until now to reach the state of success and prosperity that you have desired so much in your life and that you know you deserve. And likewise, I also tell you that this type of assumed poor thinking is nothing more than that, created thoughts, and therefore also susceptible to be discarded by you, a style of thinking that can be changed at any time. You just have to want it, to do it. The question is to assume that decision of wanting to change your thinking constantly until you turn it into reality, your reality, your universe where you consciously assume that you are the builder. You can start by stopping blaming your current situation on others, or on past circumstances, or the state. Completely forget about aspiring to live on a salary that is only enough to survive and moving to work to continue working for the same thing. Completely forget about aspiring for subsidies and economic aid to stay the same. Understand that the change you seek is first and foremost in you. A change that ultimately means that you are able to generate the conditions to build yourself, it is that you are able to be born again to give birth to your millionaire self. And it is at this point that you are ready to see and understand the next module, because everything discussed so far, I assure you that it is nothing more than the tip of an iceberg. In the next video or topic of the course to become a millionaire, I will show you how to be born again, and in the next one, I will show you who is your millionaire self and how to build it. If you liked my way of writing, I also invite you to visit and explore my free humor audiobooks where you will experience the benefits of laughter therapy with the certainty that you will laugh, and that you can find on my channel. Greetings and thank you for watching this video.